Hello YouTube and welcome to the first tutorial of 2022. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for supporting me and I would also want to wish you guys a prosperous 2022. Amidst the pandemic, I hope everybody is safe and wishing everybody good health. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to install Flutter on Windows 11 and this would work with lower versions of Windows 2. First of all, we would have to download Flutter. So head on to the Flutter site. I'll leave all the links in the description. So head on to the Flutter site and then just click on get started. And then once this loads up, you simply select your platform. Now I am Windows based, so I would be selecting Windows. Now, once this opens up, all you have to do is go ahead and then hit this button and then this is going to be downloaded. I have already downloaded this, so I wouldn't be going through that. The next thing you would want to do is go on and download Android Studio. To download that, head on to developer.android.com and then hit this download Android Studio. Read everything and then accept and then hit the download button for Android Studio to also start downloading. Also, I have downloaded this already. Also take note that by the time you may be watching this video, the version may be different, but that doesn't matter. This is the current version I have right now. The third thing we need is git. Okay. So head on to git-scm.com and then depending on the platform you are on, you are going to see. So in my case, I'm on Windows, so it says download for Windows. So depending on your platform, it's going to show right here. I've already downloaded this, so there will be no need. And then finally, I am going to be using VS Code. So if you want to follow along, you can go on to visualcode.visualstudio.com and then you can just click on download for Windows. Again, if you're on a different platform, make sure you download for that platform. So you can check that right here. So after you have downloaded everything, you would need to start your installations. So first of all, I'm going to start with Flutter and I have a unique place. I like to install this cause um, I've had issues in the past. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this up. And of course you use whatever extractor you have. So this is WinRAR and then I'm going to go into my drive C. I'll go into my username, I'll go into that and then I need my app data but it is hidden. So if you're on Windows 11, go to view, go to show and simply say hidden items and then this is what I want. So I'm going to open this up, go to local and this is where I'm going to place my flutter. So I'm going to drag this down a bit. Make sure I can see that and then I'll simply drag this in here. Wait for that to extract. Once that is done, we can go ahead and close WinRAR. Now we have Flutter in here. We are going to open Flutter up, open the bin folder. Okay. And then what I want you to take notice the address here. So click in here and then copy that path. Okay. So copy that path. So control C, then we need to add this to our path environment variables. So to do that, you can press the windows key and type ENV. Okay. So edit the system environment variables, select that, select environment variables, go to path, click on edit, click on new, and then paste that path you copied. Click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. To check whether we have successfully added Flutter to our path, open up command prompt or terminal, whichever. So I'm just going to type terminal. This comes with Windows 11. And then we type Flutter, doctor.
once you don't get the error flutter is not recognized or any other thing and it's taking time to load then we're in good luck this means that flutter is being recognized globally by our system once the command is done loading up you get this this means that we have flutter set up but obviously you can see we have a few problems this is not an issue because we are yet to install Android Studio and other things. So we can close this. The next thing I would want to do is install VS Code. This is because I want to use VS Code as my default editor when I'm starting up Git. So I'll start with VS Code. Accept the licenses. And then make sure you have add to part check and I want these options also. Once this is done, you can choose to launch it. And this is VS Code. For now, we don't need it, but I will pin it to my taskbar. So I would right click and then pin it to the taskbar. I'll close this. Then I would run Git. Next, 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 next. So this is the reason why I installed VS Code before, because I do not like them. So I'm going to switch this to VS Code. Then I'll continue next throughout without changing any parameters. And it will wait for the install. Now I don't want to read the release notes, so I'll uncheck this and click on finish. And then we head on to the heaviest of all under studio. So run this. Next, next. Now I'm choosing to install all of this on my drive C. Since it's my SSD, it's going to run a bit faster and make everything smoother for me. Wait for the installation, doesn't really take much time. Once this is done, we can hit next and then we can start Android Studio. I'm going to minimize this and then do not import anything. For now, I'm going to choose not to send any statistics. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. I'm going to stick with standard, next. I'm going to stick with Darkula. And there's an update popping up here, but I'm going to close it for now and hit next. And Android Studio is going to go ahead and install all of these. So click on finish. And if you want to see what is happening, you can click on show details. So let's give this some time and I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, now that the installation is done, or should I say the download is done, you can see I have this error here, but that's not a problem. I have an AMD processor and it tried to install the hypervisor for that but i did enable hyper v and that needs to be disabled before that should work so let's ignore this for the meantime okay so let's hit finish and then we have android studio installed now from here what we want to do is go to more go into sdk manager and then let's go to sdk tools and we are looking for this android sdk command line tools you can turn that on and while we are here we can also accept google usb drivers so let's apply that and then click on ok and then let's accept click on next and then wait for this to also download shouldn't take much time all right so now that that is done we can click on finish and we can click on ok then from here, we'll go to plugins. One of the first things we want to do here is install Flutter. Accept that. Now let's restart the ID. And now we have a new Flutter project. 
right here. I wouldn't be using Android Studio as my primary um, IDE. So if you plan to use Android Studio as your primary IDE, then you can try to start a new project. And then let's say Flutter. Now you would notice that it doesn't find the path. So all you have to do is locate where you put Flutter. So I'm going to hit this. And then because I have mine in a hidden folder, I'll have to click on this so that I can see them. I go through my drive C, I go to users, I go to my name, update local, and then we should have Flutter right here. Okay, click on okay, click on next. And now that has picked up Flutter. So that is how you can easily do that so you know what let me just call this test underscore app and then if you want to enable web you can do that okay and let's hit finish Now this will load up and if I expand this, we can see we have our lib folder with the usual main.dat with everything in there. But like I said, I would not be using this as my primary text editor. So we still have a few steps to go. I'm going to minimize this for the meantime. I'm going back to Flutter here. And then if we scroll down a bit, we've already done this. We've updated our path and all of that. I am looking for only one thing here. So we would have to accept the Android licenses or else we'd have issues later on. So let's copy that. And we can simply open this in our terminal. And then let's paste this in there. Paste this in. And then all we have to do here is simply accept. So press Y to accept. And that's completed. Now I'm going to minimize the browser. I'm going to open up VS Code. I'm going to make this bigger. The first thing I want to do here is go to the extensions here. And then the first thing I'm going to install is Flutter. Now let's go ahead and install that. Once that's done, when while we are here, we can also go ahead and install the awesome Flutter snippets by Neva Shrondio. So we can also hit install. And basically that is it. And while I'm also here, I'm going to install one of my favorite themes. It's just called IU. Now, if you're looking for top Flutter extensions, you can install. I have a separate video for that and I'll link it. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. So I'm going to stay with dark bordered. Yeah, and that's it for this part. So now we can go ahead and open the previous project we created using Android Studio. So all we can do is go to open folder. Then I know where that is. That's in my drive C, the SSD users, happy cat. And then we have studio projects and this is the test app. We can select the folder and then in VS Code, we would have to trust this. So say yes, yes. We can close this and then we can open the lib and you see we have our main dot that also in there. And if this pops up, just say yes. Okay, we can close this. And then one thing I want to grab is um, folders. Okay, the folder icons. So what I'll do here is I'll open the extensions and let's just type icons. 
all these are optional but I think it just makes everything look great so VS Code icons I'm going to hit install once this is done we can set it to VS Code icons and if we head back we can see how lovely these are so it's already activated don't know why it's asking again now before we can try to run this we would need to set up our emulator so I'm going to minimize this I'll head back to Android Studio right here what I'll do is I'll go to file and I'll go to if I can find it close project now in this window I'll simply click on the more actions here and go to AVD manager now over here I'm going to create the virtual device Now once this open up, you are free to select any emulator you want. I'm going to select Pixel 5. And you can see on this page it's asking me to download an image. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on download. And I'll be back when this is done. Now that that's done, you can click on finish. And now we have that loaded up. So we can hit next and just a few settings here i would like you to take note of so over here switch this to hardware especially if you have a dedicated um, graphics card and then click on show advanced settings and then another thing i would like you to change here is the internal storage so we can switch this to gigabytes and now usually sets a maximum of three gigabytes here now if you haven't the selector skin is not enough all of that you can simply just select no skin okay because of the emulator type we have picked and now we can hit finish and then we can go ahead and edit start this up by hitting this then we can close this now and in fact we can also go ahead and close this so i'll drag this to the side and open up vs code make that a little smaller put that to the side also now once this is done we can go ahead and test the final part once we get this connecting to the emulator that we are done so make sure you go to the main dot dart then head on to the play button here. I like to run without debugging. And I'm going to make this a little smaller. Now the first time we run this, it usually takes a long time. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so now everything is done. And we can test this out. We can see everything is working. So we can officially say we have Flutter set up on Windows 11. And that'll be it guys. If you enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, do share this video, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful 2020. I'll see you in the next tutorial.